Hi everyone. So today we are starting the new series which is IP subnetting with practical examples, real world scenarios. In this series we will study seven topics and we will be dividing this into short videos so that you can watch easily, you can follow easily. First of all we will study the fundamentals of IP subnetting. We will study what is an IP address at all. How is it different from the MAC address? Why do we need subnet mask if we already have IP address? And we will see with the help of some practical examples that how we can divide a big class or a big subnet into smaller subnetworks or smaller classes. And we will be studying that why we need IP subnetting, how we can divide a big network according to the client requirement into smaller network. For example, here we have 256 IP addresses because it's slash 24. So how we can divide and assign IP addresses to these five sub networks, these five smaller networks wisely so that we don't waste IP addresses and we can use them efficiently. So we will study step by step. Then in second part we will study about IP address classes. What are the three classes of IP addresses? Class A, B and C how we can sub network them further, how we can divide them further with these practice examples. Then the third topic would be about decimal to binary conversion. Here we will start to go deep into dotted decimal notation and the basic mathematics which we learned and we will just be revising which we learned in our primary school that how we can convert a number from binary to decimal and then from decimal to binary the fourth topic. So it is just simple mathematics but very useful, very fundamental for IP subnetting. The fifth topic will be that how we can calculate maximum number of hosts. Let's say somebody tells us that okay I give you this network so please calculate how many number of IP addresses or hosts will belong to this subnet. So we will see it practically how we can convert. And uh, a lot of examples, a lot of exercises for you guys to do after this yourself. And the sixth topic would be about calculating the range of IP addresses, how we can calculate if somebody gives us this kind of subnet and he asks us that from where to where are these IP addresses. So how we can calculate step 1, step one, step 2, step 3 and onwards and how we can assign. So these kind of subnets and then again a lot of exercises for you guys to do yourself. After that the last topic would be about real world scenarios of IP subnettings which we are doing day to day while we are working here in Vodafone, we are working in MTN, we are working for British Telecom, we are working for Ethisalat, any network right in day to day IP planning department. So we can divide and assign this network into two equal subnets. So how we divide into 126 hosts of each this big network. So we will see step by step all of this and we will be covering all of this and after that we will be learning like uh, a lot of exercises and in the end again some exercises for you guys to do yourself without solution and then this is a calculator uh, which is available on NetworkWorks website so you guys can also practice this yourself like this one. So here you can input the IP address for example you have 10.0.0 .0 and you want to have for example uh, 32 IP addresses. So what is the range and what is the network number, what is CIDR and how many usable IP. So this online calculator gives us that kind of access. We will be verifying each solution after solving it. So the link is there in your PDF file of this PowerPoint. And then a lot of exercises and their answers in the end as well you guys can do. So other than that also there are a lot of study materials which I would be sharing with you along with this and very helpful for example this IP subnetting cheat sheet right. So cheat sheet means a summary sheet everything about IP addresses in one page which you guys can use yourself. You can print it wherever you sleep, wherever you work every day so that slowly when you will be watching it day by day automatically uh, this knowledge will be into your mind. You don't need to cram anything and then this is the subnetting cheat sheet. If you understand this after this course you don't need to do anything for the rest of the life about subnetting. Your subnetting will be covered if you follow this series 100%. So a lot of ma help materials. So let's start. If you have any questions, any further comments you can write in the comments below. 
and you can like our channel you can subscribe to our channel and thank you for your support as always let's start with the first part